Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all refreshed from your tea break. So my name is Nadia, and I'm a maximizer for Google Southeast Asia. So how many of you know what the maximizer is? Uh, it says ladies. So Google Maximizer um, basically gives your ROI a lift, right? By decreasing your cost per click, and therefore decreasing your cost per, per sale, and lifting your ROI. So today I'm going to share with you some of my trade secrets in optimizing your campaign. Okay. So um, one of the biggest problems I face in optimizing is there are just so many choices. It's like eating a buffet, whether I should go for the meat, the dessert, or the bread. Okay. And analytics for me help me prioritize where should I put my resources. In. A lot of time in advertising, we want to do everything. We want to do email blocks, we want to do banners, we want to do search marketing. And we want to target everybody, every potential customers. But in this time, especially in this economic crisis, you have to prioritize your resources. Find which part of your advertising campaign is delivering revenue for you. And optimize that, like make more. So um, one of the things uh, that we do is target everyone from all over the world. And some of my clients do that. And what happened is their campaigns go black in the middle of the day because there's just not enough resources. So one of the most useful reports that I find out is actually the map overlay report, right? It shows you the list of countries that deliver revenue for you. So again, remember this is about prioritizing. So after you click on the map overlay report, as Stephanie has shared earlier, you can see the list of countries where your customers come from. You can see the number of times they visit, the amount of revenue they bring to the table, etc. Uh, one of the most uh, valuable metrics for me is that the per visit value. It shows you which country brings you the most profitable customers. And for Google Store, it happens to be Mongolia. That gives you a per visit value of $2.50. As compared to Canada, which gives you a per visit value of $0.07. Cents. Surprising, isn't it? Okay. But if you take a look at the contribution of revenue of Mongolia, it just gives you less than 10% of the total revenue. So probably if I were doing the maximization for this, I would go for the United States, right? It gives you such a huge amount of revenue, almost 90% of your total revenue. Right? But see, I don't have enough money to target the whole United States. So what I will do is I will find the region that actually delivers revenue for me. So like Stephanie has shared earlier, you can see the region, uh, the region contribution to the total revenue, right? You can see that in the US, three top regions contribute to 40% of your total revenue. So probably I will create a regional campaign targeting just these three regions, California, New York, and Michigan. So from all countries, we have seen that Mongolia gives us the most profitable customers. So for me, probably I will try having a campaign there to attract more such Mongolian customers. Okay followed by the United States, where the big bucks are, and I will actually just create three regional campaigns because I don't have enough money. Okay. So the next question I have is, hmm, I have this customers from the United States, but I do not know which method of advertising work, work well for them. Is it banner advertising, or is it direct mail, is it email blast, or is it google.com? So I will segment further using sources, right? In this particular instance, we see that Google properties deliver the best revenue for the Google store, not surprising. And if you see further, um, Gmail gives you the best e-commerce conversion rate, followed by Google Docs. So what I will do, I will suggest to Google store is to create better advertising or placement targeting campaign, what we call it, in Gmail and in Google Docs. <coughs> okay, so what if, what do we do, I'm oh, sorry, um, and, as Stephanie shared earlier, you can also see campaign level detail, right? And it's not limited to just Google AdWords campaign. It can be your banner on CNN.com or on Bangkok Post or your email blast on Gmail customers or Yahoo customers. So the takeaway is that you can zoom in to the region that is delivering revenue for you and find which method of advertising works best for you and which campaign is the best performing one for your customer or your, for your product. So after we find which campaign works best for you or which media works best for you, how do we optimize this particular campaign? And this is where my specialty comes from. Okay. 
I'm going to talk um, specifically for Google AdWords, right? Because this is what I'm doing today. So, if you link your analytics account to your AdWords account, you can see all your AdWords campaign data inside your analytics account. So you can see your CPC, your CTR, uh, cost per click, your uh, click-through rates, as well as you, how much you spend on Google AdWords. And this is really helpful because now you can see how much money does Google AdWords give you and how much money you have spent on them, hence giving you the ROI or return on investment data. Now, besides like joining two Excel spreadsheets together, you can just see it in an analytics account. Isn't it great? So um, here you can see in the, this clicks uh, tab, you can see the ROI level data. So you see the first campaign delivers you positive ROI, whereas the third campaign is giving you negative ROI. So it's not so good whoever is trying to do campaigns. So what do, I, sorry, what do I do with a positive ROI campaign? So um, this campaign, this particular campaign, is basically selling Google white t-shirt. The question that I have is that if um, this campaign is delivering a positive ROI, probably I want to reach out to every single customer who's looking for a Google white t-shirt. My question is, each time somebody is looking for a white t-shirt, do they see my ad or do they see it only like maybe one out of ten times? So what I do is I run a campaign report data trying to find out what is my share of voice or my impression share. My impression share is basically the percentage of time your ad appears versus the percentage of time it could have appeared, right? The next uh, metric that is useful is actually this lost impression share due to rent. So basically it's like, um, your ad could have appeared, but because it is so low in the rank, the customer didn't see it, and it is out of the auction system, basically. And the third one is a uh, lost impression share in the budget, basically not in the budget, hence your ad is not showing. So when I run our campaign, it seems that our campaign only has 21% of impression share. That means only 21 times, but every 100 times, a customer is looking for a white Google t-shirt, they only see our ads. Okay. Out of the 79 times they didn't see our ads, it's because 35 times our ads is too low in the rank, maybe they're ranked 40 or something. And 44 times is because our, we have run out of money, like we don't have enough money to show the ads to the customer. Okay. So what I would do actually, just I will try to increase the impression share by either increasing the CPC so that my rank would go up, or I could increase the ads quality score so that my ads would show up, like I have a better ad rank, right? Or the easy fix is to increase your daily budget, okay? So after you identify a higher ROI campaign, what we can do is we can increase the share awards for that positive ROI campaign. So basically, it's like beat the winners, start the losers, right? If you have high ROI, beat the more. If you have low ROI, take, take out the resources. So what if after you do all that, you still don't have enough money? Okay. So I will pinpoint exactly the source of waste that I have in my campaign and where I actually can get some revenue from my campaign. So you need a Google app, uh, Google Analytics is like you can peel the layers like an onion, right? You can see from campaign level detail data, you can see the ad group level detail data. So this campaign has an ROI of minus 18%. But not all the campaigns have actually, all, all the ad groups actually have negative ROI. This ad group actually have positive ROI, 500% ROI. So probably what I want to do is I want to take out this ad group, right, and put it in a separate campaign and pump more money into it. Since I get one, I get five dollars for every one dollar I spend, and the rest of the ad group that gives me negative ROI, I will either try to optimize it or I will delete it. Oh, and what if after that you put like you see which ad groups is delivering your money? You still don't have the money. So what I would do is I want to see what time of the day does my customer convert, right? And you can do this easily by looking at the um, hourly e-commerce conversion rate. So by clicking on this um, clock button here, you can see what time does my customer convert. So for Google Store customer, interestingly, the highest conversion rate happens around lunch time. Then about, about 12 o'clock, and then tea time, about 4 o'clock, a slight, a slight uptick after dinner, about 9 o'clock. So probably our customers are actually shopping during office hours. 
So what I will do if I were to create the text ads, I would say like board at work, <coughs> shop at Google Store. Another thing that you can do, of course, is to use um, to to, uh, to use day parking in your Google AdWords campaign. So Google AdWords is, uh, allows you to serve ads on a particular time of the day. So probably you want to increase your ad um, impressions or ad spending during a particular time of the day for the customers convert the most. Okay, so the takeaway is that if you don't have enough if we don't have enough money to target everybody, we focus on a specific campaign and give you still don't have enough money, specific on the specific ad groups at specific, specific time of the day. You basically put more money into things that work for you. Alright? So we can dig even deeper into the keyword level data and get more ROI out of it. Remember the, camp, the ad group that gives you 500% ROI? Well, I want to increase the ROI even better. I want to see which keywords are actually delivering me the best ROI. So here, the first keyword gives me an ROI of 1,709%. Oh, I want that, right? So what I will do is I will expand that particular keyword since people like that keyword. So either I can think of new keywords that has something to do with Google t-shirts, or if I, I can just plunk it into the Google Keyword Expansion Tool and get more keyword ideas. Okay, put it in my campaign, see how it works. Like Barbara said, test, test, and test. Okay, so what if with that, you know, I want, I want to get even higher conversion rate. How do I get higher conversion rate? Well, I would actually look at which position of my ad does it convert the best. Is it number one, is it number four, is it number 10? Okay, so for this particular keyword, Google merchandise, I take a look at the different e-commerce conversion rate at different positions. So I learned that in position one to three, the e-commerce conversion rate is okay, like position one is 0.18%. But if you take a look at the right-hand side, right, you see from position one to three, e-commerce conversion rate ranges from 0.27% to over 1%, 1.2% actually. Mm -hmm. So probably I want to target that particular range of position, right? I don't want to be number one or number three. I always want to be number four to number six. So what you can do is you can uh, opt in for position preference bidding in your AdWords campaign. You can do this in your AdWords campaign interface. And you can choose like, I just want to appear in position four to position six on a keyword to keyword level basis, right? So how granular it can be. So we have Peel the onion further from country to campaign to keyword level and even to position of the keyword. Right? And I hope um, the tricks will increase your ROI. That's all. And now, and now, and now like, since we give you a uh, well qualified and cheap traffic to your site using these um, methods, um, we, we need to get conversions from your side, right? So my colleague John Stona is going to tell you exactly how to do that.